Okay, if you're using Google Sheets, but you find yourself needing to do the same thing over and over, so for example, if you get a spreadsheet that looks like this, say you get it every day, and you need to take it, you need to format it to make it look nice, and then you need to prepare it for, let's say, your boss. You may be able to record a macro, which is a series of steps that can be automated. We're gonna walk through making this look nice, and then we're gonna walk through making it work well. So let's say when you get this, we're going to go through the series of steps that you would typically do to make it look nice. But we're going to go to tools and we're going to go to macros and then we're going to do record a macro. And now you'll notice in the bottom, you're getting a flashing circle and it's saying recording macro. Now it's going to tell you every step that's recording. So it hasn't started yet. It's not recording the movements of your mouse, but it's going to record it when you start changing things. And the second thing to keep in mind is that it's asking Hey, do I need to start exactly where you're starting? Or can this be done wherever you happen to be when you start the macro the next time? So for these, it actually could be either because they're going to apply to the entire spreadsheet. So we're just going to leave it on absolute reference. And let's say the first thing that we do is we select the entire sheet. And we're going to go to the text wrapping and turn it off because we don't want the lines to be higher than one line each. So that already makes it look better. Second thing we're gonna do, some of these now are too big for one cell and they're getting overlapped by the next column. So let's select everything again. I'm just doing that by left clicking on the rectangle in the very upper left hand corner of the grid and take the mouse and just double click on one of the column separators. Do it on the next one, I don't, okay, there we go. That resizes every column that you have selected. And now let's make it look like a table. So go to format, alternating colors. And let's pick the red because it looks nice. And we do have a header, but we don't have a footer. And that's all you want to do to make it look good. So let's click save. And we're going to do looks good. You can also assign a shortcut key. So if you hold down control, alt, shift, and one, that'll make it look good. So every time you get this spreadsheet in the next couple days, right, all you have to do is control, alt, shift, one, to make it look good. And now we're gonna make it work well. So go back to record macros. And if you look, the one that you just recorded is here. If you record a bunch of them, they'll be below. And you can only do 10. If you need to delete some, go to manage macros. But for now, we're gonna do record macro and leave it on absolute reference again. We're gonna insert a column, so watch down here. It'll record another step, so I'm gonna right click on C, do insert one to the left. It recorded action one, insert columns. I'm gonna put in a header that says uh, tick mark. We're going to center that, make the font white, and then the last thing that we're gonna do is freeze the columns and the rows, and I'll show you what that will. Let's do freeze one row, and do freeze one column. And what that did was this entire header isn't gonna move when we scroll down, and this column of data isn't gonna move when we scroll to the right. So let's we're gonna go down to the lower right-hand corner now, and I'm gonna scroll to the right, and you see column A isn't moving. If I scroll down, row one isn't moving. And we're going to call this works well and macro number two and save it and that's it all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a spreadsheet where this hasn't been done so i put another worksheet in the bottom here we're going to be applying the macros what we're doing is we're acting like you just got this spreadsheet nothing's been done and we'll see how now you can do it in two steps instead of lots more clicks and you could also use the shortcuts that we did but those don't really show so well when you're doing a video so we're going to go up to tools we're going to do macro and we're going to do looks good okay it's all done that probably took about 60 seconds i edited that part out this is about 10,000 line spreadsheet so hopefully yours isn't that big but now that it looks good this time let's do the shortcut key so we're going to do i'm going to hold down control alt shift and then hit the two and it's running the script without even touching the mouse. Froze my columns, froze my rows. We are all good. So just a few other things to keep in mind. These macros stay with this worksheet. 
So if you're getting this as a new file every day and you want to run those macros, just go down to the bottom, add a new worksheet, put that data in a new worksheet, and then the macros are going to be in this file. You can run them on it. So hopefully that was helpful. If you like that video and you want to see others like it, please subscribe in the lower right-hand corner. Thanks.